I need to find that later. But right now we're on uh, an investigative trail and I'm running out of trail mix. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Simulacra. We just found out some spicy details about Greg, and we are going to investigate by trying to contact this Yolanda creature. F female. Woman. Respect all women. All women are queen. Alright, anyway. Um, where might I find the info? Is, is she in this list? She is not in this list. What? Wait. What about Surfer or Jabber? No, Surfer is a search engine. Jabber! Would she be in the Jabbers? I must find it. I must find out. I must do a lot of scrolling, and this might take a minute. Or I might find it right away. I don't know yet, because there's all sorts of people, all sorts of posts, all sorts of maniacal malarkey, and I don't know how long this is going to take. If it's even in here. It might not be in here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it, one way or another. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Shut up. That's I'm not Blondie. I'm not even close to Blondie. She can sing. I can't. Hey, get out of my room. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, I am looking for a a way to contact this Yolanda. I must find Yolanda. I must speak at her. And I think I'm. Not gonna find it. Wait, what if we talked? What if we text Ashley? Maybe she knows a Yolanda. Ah. Uh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, um. No, that I know what that is about. That's about her, her drunken lesbianness. All right. So um. Poof. There's no way to talk to her. She's offline. I don't know where to go from here. What about? Uh, um, 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 um. What is this? Always watching over you. Iris Applesauce. Disturbing. Okay. But this doesn't help me find Yolanda. Or does it? Dare I try to speak at... The douche waffle. Wait, 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 wait. I got a, I got a, hello. Work it, girl. Yowza. All right. Um, there we are. That's what I wanted. Uh, hard zoom. Uh, ah, Ferris and Kane. Haha, hee hee. I'm I'm doing thinky things. All right, so she works at Ferris and Kane, maybe. And do I have that in my phony phone? Contacts. Go up to F. Scrolly scroll. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Damn it. I'm a little bit concerned about Futa Baker. So how do I... How? Call now. There we go. Welcome to Ferris and Kane. Uh, Welcome to Ferris and Kane. Okay. Your personal shopper directory. Right, right. Press 1 to request for a shopper. Press 2 to ask about being a patron. Press 3 to find out more about our latest I th promo. I think I need one. Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Yo Press mama. One for robes and cloaks. Press 2 for dresses. How Press about three information on cheating ass wear. boyfriends? Press 4 for shoes and footwear. Press 5 for gowns. 
If you wish to return to the main menu... Hang on, there might be more information that I'm missing here because I... I need to check that picture again! Extension 0405, so that's all I get. So, Ferris and Kane, 0405. Alright, so... So, just... Just... Is it busy? Is it busy? All right, let's let's go ahead and go through this malarkey again. Welcome to Ferris and Kim. Thank you. There we go. To help us select a personal <laughs> shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press one for robes and cloaks. Press two for dresses. Oh, Press this is just like real e Press automated messages. For shoes and footwear. Let's Please just go ahead and go one. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper. Ha ha! You. Your personal shopper assigned Big brain. to you is Yolanda. Yolanda. Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. Okay. After this call, what is this voice? For us to text you at our latest convenience. Okay. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. Thank you, because I need to text. Oh. She kind of a. Hey, 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 hey! I'm trying to get contact with you. Thanks for using Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda. And I will be your shopper today. How may I assist you? Actually, I want to know how your cheating bitch ass get, got into Greg's pants with your pants. What? I don't know. Shut up. I don't care. I need your help for other matters. Yes, let's get this ball rolling. I'm afraid we do not do returns. Huh. I want to talk to you about Greg. Greg? Summers? Who is this? What did that asshole put you up to? Uh... So we both agree on something. So he ruined your life too? What else is new? Look, if you're looking for dirt on Greg, I'm not getting involved with him again. Do I want to say he killed her, or do I want to say he kidnapped her? Each one is pretty bad, but one's worse than the other as far as implications go, and I don't want to go too far into it. I don't want to scare her. Either one would be scary, but I think he kidnapped Anna. Whoa. Hold up. Time out. Are you telling this right? It's true. It's true that I think this. Oh, I see now. What was that? I need to find that later. But right now, we're on uh, an investigative trail. And I'm running out of trail mix. If you're implying that he actually did something to Anna, I highly doubt it. He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. So he has two girlfriends? Me? Please. More like a side girl booty call. He cheated. That's the That's the most obvious statement I could ever make ever in this whole situation. I'm all in for some casual fun, but having a girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. When he, when she found out about me, all hell broke loose, and I ended up being the other girl. How did it end? I want to know. When it comes down to making a choice, of, of course he went for Anna, and I get the half-ass voicemail breakup. Hey, Yolanda, I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Oh, that like, sounds puss. Immediately. It's not just that it's, you know, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, huh? No hard feelings. That was the douchiest douche thing I've ever heard in the history of douchedom. Alright, so this guy is a complete puss now. 
Oh, <laughs> I see him in a new light. That is hilarious. I hope it's a piss-colored, shit-stained light. At the end of the day, he still cares about her. If only he knows how to show it. Now everyone thinks I'm a bad person. It's not your fault. He's just a two-timing snake in the grass. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately. Stupid me. I hope that was helpful. I've got to get back to work now. Thank you, Yolanda. You will get five stars on your customer service rating. I will guarantee it. Greg cheated on Anna with Yolanda. Confront Yolanda about Greg's behavior. Anna found an inconclusive pregnancy test from the... This is interesting. What just happened? We got a new one. Ah, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Love is being there. Okay. Love is being honest. Yes. Love is being belonging. Love is like stale movie theater popcorn. Patience. <laughs> Love is Love is dropping the phone. Eh, why not? So she's not too happy about all of this, but what ha I'm starting to get concerned that maybe she offed herself because this is, this is, this is, she's not doing so well emotionally speaking. I miss the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And, yeah, I kind of, I kind of find that amusing and agree? Should I? Should I? Let's go ahead and do that just because, yeah. I don't think it'll do much, but whatever, I don't care. Yolanda just called me. And what's your problem with that? I needed to clear something up, and you're not telling me. So I had to go to other sources. So shut your dick holster. You, I have not crossed a line. You have crossed a line. You've crossed legs. What does that mean? I don't know. You've, you've crossed more lines than I have. I don't think you have any ground to stand on. And you were being a suspicious motherfucker. She is pissed and confused. You brought her into this mess. No, you brought her into this mess by jumping in the sack with her. So don't try and twist these things around and try and gaslight me into this malarkey. I'm not falling for your sass, Greg. Anyway, we will continue this argument over text in the next episode. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.